Okay, here's how to beat Lady Butterfly. Like other boss fights, this one has two phases. Let's look at phase one first, which, once you learn how to beat it easily, covers you for 80% of phase two as well. Lady Butterfly has a variety of attacks, but the good news is you don't really need to learn any of them. Her weakness is her posture recovers slowly, and all of her attacks can be easily blocked simply by spam tapping the block button, which means you can severely damage her posture very easily just by repeatedly tapping your block button. To illustrate what I'm talking about, let's look at what happens in phase one when all you do is block and never fight back. All I'm doing to block her here is repeatedly tap my block button. You'll do more posture damage if you time your deflections at the last minute, but since her posture recovers really slowly, it's not essential that you do that. What's good about this is that it simplifies all blocking in this fight to the point that you can keep your focus on looking specifically for the handful of attacks she can do where spamming your block button isn't helpful. And in phase one, there are only two of those. The first is that when she jumps up on the wire, she'll likely leap into the air shortly after that. This is the point you want to throw a shuriken at her. Shurikens knock her out of the air, but don't wait until she's in the air to do that. Anticipate her jumping into the air by throwing your shuriken just as she's about to jump off the wire. If she doesn't jump, throw another shuriken and then maybe even another one if you have to. The second thing you have to think about is that when you see her red kanji symbol, all you have to do is stop moving and press your jump button to evade it. You don't want to try to Makiri counter her. All you want to do is jump. She can do unblockable attacks from the ground or from on the wire, but when she's on the wire, they don't really matter because you'll be prepared and ready and throwing a shuriken at her to interrupt it. So really, you only have to think about pressing jump to evade her unblockable attack when she's on the ground. So, repeatedly tap your block button. If she's on the ground and you see her red warning symbol, wait a microsecond, then press jump. And if she's on a wire, anticipate her jumping off it by throwing a shuriken just before she jumps. The way to do all that easily is to keep tapping your block button but the whole time you're doing that, you're waiting to see if you either get a red warning symbol or if she jumps up, keeping your mind ready to press either your prosthetic attack button or your jump button. It's just one or the other. If she jumps to a wire, you press your prosthetic attack. If you see a red symbol, wait for a brief moment, then press jump. You can see her posture meter is about to fully fill up. And right there, you could have ended phase one having taken no damage and not even having attacked her once. When you add attacks back into the mix, I recommend doing only a single swipe after a successful block. Since her posture gets wrecked by blocking like this anyway, there's really no need to get greedy and to try and get more than a single hit in whenever you can. Just remember that if your own posture meter starts to climb up, all you have to do is take a step back from her and hold your block button down and that will speed up the recovery of your own posture. You probably won't need it though, I never have with this fight, but if you do, just bear that in mind. Another quick tip is if her posture meter is almost full, don't rush to attack her. Just be patient and let her attack you to get to a death blow. There's really no reason to take a risk. Like right here, she's almost full, just block, and now she's ready for a death blow. So let's talk about phase two. In phase two, you can rapid tap block to deflect all of her physical attacks just like in phase one, but she now has two supernatural attacks you have to deal with. One, she summons apparitions, and two, she fires butterflies at you that damage you even if you block them. Phase two starts with Lady Butterfly materializing on top of the statue that sits at the opposite side of the room to the fog wall. Whatever you do, don't lock onto her while she's up there. I found locking onto her there can trigger her to summon her apparitions earlier in the fight than she otherwise might summon them. Okay, here she's summoning the apparitions. You can see them, they're like little grey ghostly figures running around the arena. If you look at the bottom right of my screen, you can see I have six snap seeds. That's those green looking things in my item list. now. Snap seeds are used to make the apparitions go away, but if you don't have any snap seeds, the way to play this moment is to run from corner pillar to corner pillar. When you see her say you're surprisingly skilled, you want to hide behind a corner pillar because those apparitions turn into attack homing butterflies. So you can see it was just a case of running around the edge of the arena 
and then hiding behind a corner pillar until those butterflies were gone. If she was running at you at the same time, then you would have wanted to hide behind the corner pillar and hold your block button down just in case she attacked you. But she'll typically run to a corner pillar that you're hiding behind and then stop until the butterflies have disappeared. Not always, but most of the time. Now while I was talking about the apparitions, she also threw her butterfly attack at me. So let's just take a look at that again quickly. There it is. As soon as you see them appearing behind her, jump backwards as, and to the left or right as fast as you can. So long as you don't go in a straight line, they will then miss you. Now as you do your jumping uh, back and then to the left or right, she's also going to follow you. She's gonna to try to attack you at the same time. So you're basically trying to jump back and away to avoid her and jump back and away to avoid the butterflies all at the same time. And then finally, be aware that at the end of all of that, she's likely to do an unblockable move. The red kanji symbol will come up and then she'll likely, there it is, and then just jump and you'll have that covered. Importantly, the reason you don't want to try and block her butterfly attack and her crazy follow-up attack is because her butterfly attack will actually take health off you. Uh, it goes through your sword, so even if you block it, you will take damage and you don't want that. So just jump back and to the left or right constantly to avoid it and then get ready for her unblockable attack. And there's another butterfly attack and I just jump to the left to avoid it. Oh, she immediately summoned apparitions afterwards. So earlier I showed how you run around the outside of the arena from pillar to pillar. This time I'll show you how you use snap seeds. When they're close, just use them and the apparitions that are nearby will vanish. So there you go, it took two, two snap seeds to kill all of those apparitions. Chances are you won't have any snap seeds though, so if that's the case, just do what I did earlier and that's run around the uh, whole arena from corner pillar to corner pillar and then hide behind the pillar when the apparitions disappear and turn into homing butterflies. That's pretty much the whole fight covered, that's everything you need to know. But one thing I do want to make mention of is right here, see how the camera locked off? Sometimes she can jump onto the wire directly above your head and if she leaps over your back the camera will lock off and you won't know where she is. If it happens, it happens, but what I recommend doing at that point is trying to run a little bit forward to make sure you're not within her range to be hit. But while you're doing that, kind of do it in a zigzag or a serpentine type of pattern, just in case she throws shurikens at you. That way you can give yourself the greatest possible chance of avoiding uh, any hits that you might take before you can turn around and block. And ultimately you want to turn around and block as fast as you can and get your lock back on. That's everything you need to know to beat Lady Butterfly. Now I'll finish out the video by letting you watch a full fight against her from start of phase one to the end of phase two without me narrating it. Enjoy. Oh, my God. 